thanks for the opportunity to speak. Um, uh, I've spent a lot of time over the last few days talking to other veterans of Afghanistan and Iraq, and we're all in broad agreement that however bad those wars were, and they were bad, a war in Iran would be on an entirely different scale. It would be on an entirely different scale. Um, and it's, it's very sad, and it's really hit me in the last few days that we were so close to having uh, a government with a leader who was anti-war and not just didn't just say anti-war things was committed to a manifesto which included a war powers act um, and, uh, and uh, the full implementation of the findings of the Chilcot inquiry which would have radically changed what Britain does in the world and how it conducts itself in the world. And it's no coincidence, in my opinion, that the people who prevented that, some of them, uh, in various parties and outside, were the same people um, who have the same ilk as Tony Blair, yeah, yeah. Um, who kept that government from becoming a reality. Um, and I will say this, and it's very important, certainly with my experience uh, and the support of the war, when I refuse to return to Afghanistan, that any soldier, sailor or airman who chooses, and they would be right to choose not to deploy, who chooses to resist, who chooses to organise against this war in the ranks, will find a friend in me, should find a friend in this movement, and will certainly find a friend in Stop the War. They deserve our support and they will be key should we choose to go back or to go to Iran and start a war there. And whatever happens in the election, our work remains to be done. And it continues. And it's on us to prove through our activities that whatever these clowns in the buildings behind you do, and they will smugly walk around in the halls of power, but if they choose to go to Iran, we must show them that the streets, the trade unions, the workplaces, the universities, all these things are ours, and that we will organise in them, and we will fight back. Thank you.